What's up everybody, uh, welcome back to another video. This time I'm going to show you guys on how to um, reset your trial for your uh, Kaspersky Internet Security. Now this could be a 2014, 2015 uh, version of the software. Um, this could be uh, the pure version of the software where it's included uh, the antivirus, the internet security, and something else is included with it. Um, currently, I'm just using uh, the uh, Kaspersky Internet Security 2014, I believe it is. Um, now, this is only for educational purposes and, and evaluation purposes. So, um, if you have had your 30 days of the um, trial period of your uh, Kaspersky Internet Security and you're happy with it, so uh, then you can, I mean, by all means, go ahead and purchase, support the uh, support the developers purchase the product but if you're still not uh, entirely satisfied and you want to extend your trial period to maybe say another month or three months before deciding on buying the uh, Kaspersky Internet Security product um, then here's I'm gonna show you guys on how to do that so first up uh, my trial has just ran out as you can see I've been popped up with this um, error message here saying that dear uh, user Kaspersky Internet Security uh, protection uh, your computer until the license expired so it protected it until it's gone now it's the protection has been disabled updates are unavailable to resume so I gotta buy a license but I'm still not entirely satisfied because I've only had 30 days of this and I wanna I wanna value this for a further 30 days so I'm gonna show you guys on how to do that um, uh, first of all uh, we will need to download uh, this file here um, this will be included within the uh, download link so you don't have to worry about it uh, and then once you have downloaded this there's also a readme included uh, in here uh, now this this um, application was done by uh, Wild Night Wolf, and then it was translated by On Hacks. Uh, so all the credits go to these guys for doing that. I'm just showing you guys on how to do it. I haven't developed this myself, so I'm not the one uh, behind c coding on this development application to do the uh, trial reset. Now you can see here that it can uh, it works for not just antivirus. It works for internet security as well, for Crystal 2.0, 3.0, endpoint security, and small office security. So uh, instructions are included in here pretty uh, straightforward uh, so once the installed cast once you have installed Kaspersky application you need to go into settings I'm gonna show you guys how to do that uh, so here we click X I understand open up the application here here we go okay so open up the application go into settings and now we're going to go to additional self defense uh, enable self defense so what you got to do is you have to disable that confirmation is required okay it says that it will decrease the level of protection but that is some next level bullshit so you don't have to worry about that uh, now you just disable that uh, as required uh, and I go back double check it's gone so it is gone okay close this now and go to your uh, system tray icon uh, or system tray where all the uh, icons are and the Kaspersky icon will be here as well right click on it and click exit so it's completely gone from the system now the application is completely terminated uh, now we need to do is need to open up the trial resetter so uh, we'll minimize this we'll go back into our uh, this will be included once again with your um, uh, with the download link uh, under description so right click on it run as administrator accept uh, you you will see this screen pop up. Sorry, here. Okay. Uh, now we click reset trial period, and it comes up in Russian, but you simply have to click yes. Okay. Uh, now it's it tries to automatically reload the application, um, and once it reloads, it's going to ask us to activate our trial. Okay. Uh, now we can see it says license 30 days remaining. So key status is active, trial for one month, or one computer for 30 days, remaining period is 30 days. It says trial version of the application installed, 30 days remaining after the specific specified period application functionality will be disabled. To keep your computer uh, protected, you should purchase the license. So once again, guys, this is only for evaluation purposes and educational purposes. So if you have... If you're satisfied with 30 days uh, trial period of this application, go ahead and purchase it to support the developers. They can always develop uh, better uh, security products for future releases. Um, now, if you're still not happy like me and you, you want to go ahead and give it one more try, I'll, I'll suggest doing what I what I showed you guys in the video. Um, and upon that, uh, doing exactly what I, what I showed here uh, will then help you get one month 
uh, of trial back. So now this is my second month to evaluate the product. If I'm happy, I'll purchase it next month. Possibly I'll purchase 2015 version of this because I think I'm running 2014. I'll run the uh, 20. I'll purchase 2015 and uh, hopefully keep that. Um, I mean, once I'm satisfied with the performance by this uh, antivirus. I hope this this has helped you guys. Um, if it did, please make sure to subscribe, uh, share, like the video, leave a comment below if you have any sort of issues. Uh, I'll try my best to get back to you guys. Until then, peace out.